Beat your banjo and your tambourine Get your reservations on the River Queen We are gonna wear out all our dancing shoes When we do the minstrel news What's the news across the nation? We have got the information In a way we hope News with Monty Hall making a deal, Jackie Gleason skipping a meal, Barbara Streisand with Ryan O'Neill, and nudist sunbathers starting to peel. And now here's Dan and Dick. First, these news headlines. Femme Liber burns bra, shouts equality or bust. <laughs> Secretary Rogers quitting State Department for career in foreign policy. <laughs> Students riot over hot bathrooms. Cooler heads prevail. <laughs> and now, here's Dick with news of the present. Dateline, Phil Pa. Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Pa. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. That's a long one, isn't it? You're not supposed to read the acronyms. I'm sorry, I never knew they had one. <laughs> Last night, the Civic Center's Ballet Company inaugurated a new series of nude ballets <laughs> with a totally unclad version of Swan Lake. The performance was marred by the second act in the second act. In the second act by some unexpected leaps. <laughs> when 12 swans were suddenly surprised by a wild goose. <laughs> That's, another That's two in a row, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the annual convention of midgets, which was to be held on the starlight roof of the Empire State Building in New York, was called off today when it was discovered that none of the honored guests could push any of the elevator buttons past the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we could just find Dan, we'd hear the news of the future. Well, the writers are going to be delighted that you like those. <laughs> well done, sir. Thank you. News of the future 25 years from now. The Rolling Stones today released a new album entitled We're So Poor. The album sales are predicted to earn the group over $3 million. <laughs> Think about it on the way home. News of the future 25 years from now. A new stratosonic jet flew its maiden flight today from New York City to Los Angeles in only 35 minutes. Instead of the usual meal in Hollywood film, however, the passengers were served a bowl of minute rice and watched two 30-second commercials. Here's Don with the qualitative analysis and prognostications of the week ahead in television. Fantastic reading. Thank you. We'll cover this somehow until Donna gets a cue Here to come on in. Now. There she moves, boy. Hi. 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 <laughs> Here's my prognostications. Um, that's right. <laughs> Surprised her, didn't it? NBC Saturday night at the movies will be exciting as a strange creature with red eyes staggers around terrifying all of the... Women. <laughs> women. Women. <laughs> and don't miss the Dean Martin show where the same thing happens. <laughs> and now can we hear the minority news? Don't ask me, ask Willie Tyler and Lester. My soul, baby, and now the most honorable Chinese news. Oh, come on, Lester, wait a minute now. You can't be fooling anybody. I mean, everybody knows you're not Chinese. Sure, your round eyes. You know, like uh, my great-grandfather was an ancient Oriental pull-down. What's an Oriental pull-down? Oh, well, about 10 years a day. <laughs> Here's Sarah Kennedy with the traffic news. Here's a late-breaking story. During a big traffic tie-up, a tank trunk full of nasal spray spilled into the freeway and cleared up the congestion immediately. For goodness sake, it's angel good with the heavenly news. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Hi, angel good here with the news from heaven. Today, nominations for the president of heaven were announced. And Angel George Washington was the first one to throw his halo into the ring. <laughs> and at the party later, Patrick Henry got, I mean, he got loaded. He was a mess. And he began shouting, give me liberty or give me death. That poor guy. Somebody ought to tell him he has got both wishes. <laughs> well, that's it from Angel Good. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Now, 
Now, with equal time for the other side, it's Dennis with a word from hell. Hell's bells! Here's the news. Well, here's today's weather forecast. There will be a high today of 735 degrees, followed by an overnight low of 692! Ah, and watch out tomorrow, we're going to have a heat wave. How about a hot Hollywood item? NBC Vice President David Tebbit, after denying accusations that movies on TV are being ruined by network editing, disclosed a blockbuster lineup of movies scheduled for next season. The pictures include Around the World in 30 Days, Bob and Carol and Ted, A Man for a Couple of Seasons, Guess Who's Coming to Brunch, and uh, The Boy in the Band. Here's a quick peek at the Chino-Russian border. Uh, comrade. Oh? I'm reading in Pravda, you Chinese explode a nuclear bomb. Oh, of course we did, comrade. What else would you do with it? <laughs> and now, it's the Irish news. Faith and Begora. It's not Faith and Begora, it's Pat and Mike. Is it time to dance No, again? Not, not yet, Not Michael. yet. You have an item. Well, Sean O'Leary. 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 Yeah. Proved conclusively that finding a four-leaf clover does not always bring good luck. Yes, he tried to pick one that was growing under a fast-moving freight train. Right! <laughs> Mr. O'Leary's wake will be held in the homes of Mike Flynn, Patrick O'Brien, and Ed Sean O'Leary. Let's dance. Yes. Yes. On this day in history, screen star Audrey Hepburn turned down the lead in the Kate Smith story. Oh,